Hi, Christopher Mink for Everything iCafe. Now once you install Evasion and click Jailbreak, what's going to happen is it's going to start installing some software and it is going to restart. It's going to restart a number of times. Um, once you finish this uh, first restart, you're going to get a message that's going to say, waiting for device to reboot, do not touch your device. So pretty simple instructions right there. Don't touch the device, the device, let it reboot and go through the process. Now, right about now, I'd say that the you should see that the progress is at about 10%, and just let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. This process shouldn't take you longer than, I'd say, well, how long is this video? Four minutes? Four minutes. It's really, really fast. So... Um, Next up, you're going to, uh, once it restarts, you're going to see a message that it is injecting jailbreak device data, uh, something along those lines. And it's going to say uploading Cydia, Cydia, Cydia package list, and on and on. Now, your iPhone might go black. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Just let it do its thing. It's, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a quick process and you don't want to disconnect it during this process i don't know what happens it might be bad things so don't do it so as you see here there's not a hell of a lot in terms of updating on the iphone itself um, our website has screenshots of everything that's happening here uh, now what's going to happen is you're going to get a message that says you need to unlock the device here's where it gets fun unlock the device and tap on a new jailbreak icon that's on the screen and when this happens, your screen is going to go black and it's going to return to the home screen. So what I'm going to do now is um, unlock the device, just slide to the right, and locate that jailbreak icon. There it is. And right next to my Roku icon, click on it, goes black, back to the home screen. And now you should get a message on your computer it says injecting remount payload. I have no idea what that means, but it's injecting the remount payload right now. Um, next step, it's going to say that it is preparing for the final jailbreak data. And again, what's great about this is you don't have to do anything. It's going to uh, restart your computer right now. And this takes a, this is where it gets probably a little bit time consuming. Uh, not super exciting for a video, but I wanted to provide you guys with exactly what happens during the process. So if you start to jailbreak your iPhone or decide to jailbreak your iPhone, your iPad, you kind of know what the expectations are. So this is what happens. Um, again, completely normal for it to reboot a few times and now we've got some uh, some funky stuff going on here you see the new evasion logo those are the guys behind the jailbreak and a few reboots happening right here initializing offsets and it'll provide you some updates now on screen to kind of let you know where it is in the process um, some requirements for the evasion jailbreak you're going to need ios 6.0 or greater if you haven't updated to ios 6.1 it's definitely recommended that you do and you do so using itunes not the over the air updater so um it has finished doing its work it's going to continue booting and there we have it. You should see an on screen now on your Mac or PC that says the jailbreak is complete. And we can check that by sliding to unlock and sliding to the right and finding the City app. And there it is. You su successfully jailbreaked, jailbroken your device using Evasion on iOS 6.